the funny thing is, is that we started this so long ago, um, right after my daughter Ella was born. So she was born and she's almost five. And really it started out as just me supporting someone that I love, Shaquita and, and Felicia. But what I knew was that this was a really important story to be told because we don't have this authentic, transparent conversation around all things that have to do with our reproductive, our reproductive system, whether it's if you want to have a baby, if you don't want to have a baby, you know, what your fertility looks like. Have you had miscarriages along the way? Like these are such subjects that come with so much misinformation and so much shame that one of the things that are really important to me and what I do is ensuring that I use my platform to, to for good, use my platform to, to put information out there specifically for black women because I am a black woman and I am a mother to a little girl who will be a black woman. So it was a no brainer when, you know, Shaquita first approached me about this. I was like, okay, special. So outside of um, having gone to Spelman, we're both Delta. She's my special. So, um, you know, I had a little bit of obligation because she was like, special, I need something. I was like, what you need? <laughs> okay, <laughs> is how it started. But she knows that there's nothing that I wouldn't do for her. And it was my honor um, to not only narrate this film, but also become an executive producer and even share my story. Um, you know, like, like Shaquita and, and everyone has already said, we, we're, we're taught about our career. We're taught about, you know, it, it's kind of crazy. You spend your first half for your life trying not to get pregnant. And then the second half trying to, and never does it occur to you that it may not happen as easily as you think it will. Um, so it was important me, for me to also share my journey and, um, you know, where I stand, because the other piece is you can be in a place in your career where you say, you know what, I know I want children, but I know I don't want them today. So what does that look like? And I think the biggest thing is making sure that women feel empowered, that whatever your decision is, whether it's to have children, to not have children, to wait, to freeze your eggs, whatever that looks like, you know, it's your uterus and your choice. And recently I posted something, because especially in my position, people always want to have um, assumptions about what's going on in your body. And I just had to tell people like, just back up off my uterus. It's really that simple. Your uterus is no one else's business. It's time to be smart. Roland Martin's doing this every day. Oh, no punches. Thank you, Roland Martin, for always giving voice to the issues. Look for Roland Martin in the whirlwind, to quote Marcus Garvey again. The video looks phenomenal, so I'm really excited to see it on my big screen. We support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. See, there's a difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. I got to defer to the brilliance of Dr. Carr and to the brilliance of the Black Star Network. I am rolling with rolling all the way. Honored to be on a show that you own, a Black man. <laughs> On the show. Folks, Black Star Network is here. I'm real uh, revolutionary right now. Wow. Roland was amazing on that. Stay black. I love y'all. I can't commend you enough about this platform that you've created for us to be able to share who we are, what we're doing in the world, and the impact that we're having. On. Let's be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You can't be black on media and be scared. You dig?